What is up you guys? It is Ebony Ohan, also known as Glowhan, and welcome back to my channel! As you can see from the title, we are having a swatch party, and I'm also going to be giving you guys additional bonus ways to win this giveaway that I'm having. If you have not seen the giveaway deets, go to my Instagram right now and go look because I'm doing a huge giveaway for two winners to win some Menta Cosmetics products. This video is done in partnership with Menta Cosmetics, which is a pigment first beauty brand. Y'all know I love me some Minted, and your girl is a Minted mentor. As of February, I am a Minted mentor. So, um, yeah, let's just get right into these swatches. Today I'm gonna be swatching my favorite products, which are their semi-matte lipsticks, their lip glosses, and their blushes. And here's the thing about their semi-matte lipstick collection. They all come with a matching lip liner. So I'm gonna show you all of these and we're just gonna have some fun, y'all. And then I'm gonna let y'all know at the end how you can win an additional 10 to 30 entries in my giveaway with two simple steps. Or is it three? I don't remember, but let's get into it. Okay, so today I'm wearing my go-to shade, which is Minted number no. five in addition to the M5 liner. And as a gloss, I usually wear mauve over as a gloss, but I couldn't find it at the moment where I was doing my makeup. So I use Sin Nudes instead to add a glossy finish. And when you go on their website, the semi-matte lipsticks are described as deeply moisturizing nude lip shades with the perfect blend of browns and pinks to enhance your multi-hued lips. All lipstick. Phone on silent real quick so I don't get interrupted like that again. All lipsticks are vegan, paraben free, non toxic, gluten free, cruelty free, and proudly made in the USA. So, like I said, I'm wearing Minta number no. five, which is my favorite. And it's actually the nude that I matched with whenever I took the quiz on their website. So, if you don't know, now you know. When you go on Minta Cosmetics website, they actually have not only a shade finder quiz for your foundation, but they also have a nude lipstick matching quiz. And as you can see, Minta number no. five is just perfect for me. So let's get into these swatches. So first up is Pretty in Pink, which is described as a vibrant pink with cool undertones. And I've definitely used this before already, so that's why it looks a little, a little wonky, a little dirty around the edges because I can be a little rough with my lipstick sometimes. Pretty in Pink is super pretty. I like to wear it usually with a brown lip liner and this is what she looks like there is miss pretty in pink and let me go ahead and get her a company oh yeah i do have it let me go ahead and get her a company lip liner to go with that and the lip liners you guys are super pigmented here is the lip pencil in the shade pink usually comes with a good amount of pencil yeah that's about where it caps and i've also used this before so again it's a little slightly less than what it really comes with but here she is there is a lip liner and there is miss pretty in pink gorgeous pink shade looks beautiful on chocolate skin i like to wear this whenever i'm feeling a little bit you know little girly Next up we have Nude La La, which is described as a warm pink with brown undertones. And there goes Miss Nude La La. I have not worn this yet before, but I'm excited to try it now that I've seen that description. So here is the pencil that comes with Miss La La, which is La La. And here is the lip pencil for Miss Lala, the sister product to Nude Lala lipstick. And let's see what she looks like on me. Oh yeah, so it's, oh, huh. I need to wear this baby more often because this is definitely giving pink with warm brown undertones. A warm pink with brown undertones, I should say. I'm actually excited to try this. So here's the difference. They're both pinks, 
but as you can see one is a lot browner than the other and that is Miss Lala with pretty in pink next up we have brand nude which is described as a deeply pigmented tan shade now here is Miss brand nude and her sister product her lip pencil is the shade nude which is and this is pretty much how they come this is one that I have not used yet a nice little short tip scroll it on up you see how much products in there and the good thing about these lip pencils is they're so creamy and pigmented that they can literally be used for like your whole lip if you don't have a shade and you just need like a nice little pencil a nice little dab of color you can wear these by themselves or pair them with the gloss and it's still super pigmented so let's go ahead and swatch miss nude and her sister brand nude so there is brand nude and nude lip pencil as you can see it is definitely a tan shade deeply pigmented super pretty super nude a super nude next we have dope taupe which is described as a unique blend of brown and pink so this i've used before super pretty definitely gives brown and pink there goes miss dope taupe and the matching lip liner to go with this her name is Dope. So here is the Dope pencil. And now let's see what she swatches like. So here we have Dope Taupe. And dope, super rich, definitely a unique blend of browns and pinks. So you see we have Dope Taupe, Brand Nude, Nude La La, and Pretty in Pink. All very unique shades. But these are all a nude lipstick for somebody you like look at this range these are only we're not even halfway done yet i have like five more lipsticks to go literally literally next up we have foxy brown and i recently wore miss foxy brown the other day and i loved it so foxy brown is described as a subtle red slash brown blend and she she lives up to her name like this color is super pretty with my complexion there goes foxy brown the lipstick and then her sister lip pencil is in the shade foxy so let's go ahead and swatch miss foxy and foxy brown so as you can see foxy brown and dope taupe have similar shades but you can see how this one is much more red than this one this is giving more brown pink and this is definitely brown red and that is how she swatches so they're kind of close in color but trust me that undertone that undertone makes a huge difference and that is what makes foxy brown foxy brown next up we have brown bear which is described as a soft chocolate brown something like me and y'all, one thing that I'm really enjoying about doing this is that these colors, as this truck passes by, these lipsticks, these products are so creamy. They're just so creamy and soft on my skin. Have I used brown bear before? I think this may have been, okay, I haven't used this too before, but this was one of the first products of Menta Cosmetics that I tried when I was gifted them by my professor. Shout out to you, Tracy. I love you, girl. And here is what Brown Bear looks like. Soft chocolate brown. Her sister lip pencil is in the shade Bear. And I'm actually surprised I haven't used this yet, this lip pencil, because this is probably the ideal lip pencil for me to mix pretty and pink with. Here's Miss Bear. Y'all, these products literally glide right on my skin like they're so soft so creamy oh this is pretty 
this almost reminds me of Minton number five, but it's just pure chocolate. This is a pure brown, as you can see, this is like a reddish brown and this is like a pinkish brown, but this is a pure chocolate brown. And that's brown bear for you. Next up, we have Minton number five, which is what I have on right now, but I'll still swatch her along with the other ones so you can see how she compares in this lineup. And this is described as a unique purple and brown blend. Very much so loved on. Very much so used, very round, because this is literally my everyday lipstick shade. I love Minton number five. Like, she's just, she's just perfect. Like, she's literally just perfect. And her sister lip pencil is in the shade M5. Like, Amanda, KJ, y'all went off with these shades. Like, these shades are so stunning. Like, I already knew that, but as I'm just looking at them on my arm, I'm just like, wow. Like, they went off. Because who's doing it like this with the lipsticks? Nobody. Nobody's doing it like this with lipsticks. Like, are you freaking, are you kidding me? Look at these nudes, like, okay. Y'all heard me describe it as a brownish purple blend, right? You see how gorgeous this is? Look at the range with these browns. Like, they, ugh. Oh my gosh. I'm... If you have not gotten a meant to cosmetics lipstick by now. I don't I don't know what you're waiting on. Hopefully you win this giveaway so you can see what I see. But they're just perfect. They are just perfect. So the last shade we have is Dark Knight, which is described as a dark chocolate shade. Here is Miss Dark Knight. A dark brown chocolate shade she's very very rich very very she's expensive and her sister lip pencil is in the shade night I mean, that's about how much i have because I, I i use the mess out of this lip pencil i'm not gonna lie like if i'm wearing like a lighter shade i will use this lip pencil so let's go ahead and swatch miss night and this dark night and this is our full starting lineup of semi-matte nude lipsticks. I'm actually missing a lip liner. I have the shade. I do have Peach Please, but I don't have the lip liner. Actually, I might have the lip liner, but I'm plugging it out right now. You know what? If I find it, I'll add it. So here is Miss Dark Night, and here's Night. So as you can see, this is described as a dark chocolate shade. Whereas Brown Bear, which is, I believe, right here. Brown Bear is just described as a chocolate shade. A soft chocolate brown. Soft chocolate brown, dark brown. They said, oh, black women need new lipsticks? Say less. We gon', we gon', we gon' supply this demand. Because this... The fact that they know that black women aren't just one shade, like the fact that we don't have just one lip shade when it comes to our perfect nude, they was like, oh, bet, say less, boom, ba da boom, boom. And from what I remember, if I remember correctly, Minta number five, yeah, Minta number five is the first shade that they created, and Pretty in Pink was the first shade that they sold. So that's just a little. It's a little history lesson for you. But just to say that I did it, I will go ahead and swatch Peach Please because Miss Peach Please is actually a participant in the giveaway. So Peach Please is described as a subtle peach with coral undertones. And here is what she looks like. And here is what she is swatches like right next to pretty and pink. There's Peach Please right there. Another beautiful nude shade 
very unique to everything else that we see on the board. I, I mean, the thing is, I think I do have this lip liner, but it's in my giveaway box and I don't want to swatch anything that I'm giving away. Like, I don't want, like, don't get me wrong. A lot of what's on here will be given away, but I'm not giving y'all what's mine. I'm going to give away stuff that has not been used or open. So let me see. Let me, make, let me just see. I think I do have that look right here. Yeah, I do. See? Peach. So peach, just so y'all know, peach please does come with a lip liner. Well, it doesn't come with it, but she also has a sister lip pencil and I will be giving this away. So that does it for the lipsticks. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe off my arm and then we're gonna get into blush. Next we have blushes. As of today, Menta Cosmetics has four blush shades from their Make You Blush collection, which is described as, I got my handy dandy laptop right here to assist me, described as blendable, buildable, and most importantly, pigmented. The Make You Blush collection allows you to sculpt and create perfectly flushed cheeks with a touch of vitamin E. This long-lasting powder formula means the product nourishes the skin and stays put all day. As with all Menta products, this collection is vegan and cruelty-free. Don't you just love that? Don't you just love, love a brand with ethics, ethos, consistency, pigment, pigment? Now, today I'm wearing, um, I mean, I kind of mix them. I, I like to mix my blushes and it's hard to just tell you I'm wearing a color because it's like, you don't see just that color. I should have just wore one color back. It's hard for me to do that sometimes because I have too much fun when I'm doing makeup. So today I am wearing Clay Too Much with a bit of Buried Away. I started off with Clay Too Much, but then I was like, I want a little bit more rosy this. I want a little bit more I want a little bit more like pinchy pinkness. So I added a little bit of buried away. Can't you see how pretty my cheeks are? So let's get into them. First off, we have Pinky Promise. And Pinky Promise is described as a true pink with gold shimmer. And here is Miss Pinky Promise. One thing that I started to do before Minted dropped their new highlighter palette i used to love to mix this shade with buried away so this is and as they say these are blendable and buildable so i would start off with buried away and then i would add like a touch of pinky promise like along where i highlight but also like around my cheeks and it's just such a pretty combination so here is what she looks like and she swatches alike so very sh like I can instantly see the shimmer I don't know if we'll be able to catch it on camera but I can instantly see the shimmer on Miss Pinky Promise very buildable very pigmented super pretty she is definitely giving shimmer so that is Pinky Promise next up we have Peach for the Stars, which is a radiant shimmery peach. And like the same with Pinky Promise, I used to mix this shade with Clay Too Much as a highlight. So this is Peach for the Stars. This is what she looks like on my finger. I think you can probably see the shimmers a little bit better on this one. So as you can see, very light, nice little shimmer blush. If you're into orange coral blushes, definitely, you'll definitely love Peach for the Stars. And these two blushes will be, not these particular ones, these are mine, but these two shades will be participants in the giveaway that I'm doing. So here they are. Next up, we have Buried Away, which is the first blush I tried from them. Fell in love, haven't looked back since until I started using Clay Too Much. Now I'm conflicted. I'm always using both of them. Just depends on the mood. So Buried Away is described as a bright berry burgundy shade. 
And here is Miss Bared Away. There is no shimmer in this shade. It is pure pigment, honey. And she is exactly that pigmented. Here's what she looked like on my finger. There goes Miss Bared Away. She is super pigmented, very berry, and just bright and pretty. Last but certainly a fan favorite, Clay Too Much. And Clay Too Much is described as a muted red. Clay Too Much can almost, and the thing is, depending on your skin tone, this could probably even be a bronzer shade for you, but this shade is so unique to me and she's so pretty, so, so pretty on dark skin girls. So here is Clay Too Much on my finger. So y'all can see how unique these blush shades are. And there you have it, is the full lineup of the Make You Blush collection by Menta Cosmetics. We have Pinky Promise, Peach for the Stars, Buried Away, and Clay Too Much. So this is a muted red, a bright berry burgundy shade, a shimmery peach, and a true pink with gold shimmer. I love their blushes. I've actually used a few of these as um, eyeshadow before because they're just that pigmented. And I just love a good diverse blush. Like, <sighs> obsessed. Truly, truly obsessed. Next up, we have two different gloss collections that we're gonna be swatching. I just, I, I said all of that while making all the noise in the world, so now you just hear all this on YouTube. Sorry. Anyways, so we have the Summer Lip Gloss Collection and the Gloss for Grown Ups Collection. They actually expanded their Gloss for Grown Ups Collection by adding these three shades. We've expanded our Gloss for Grown Ups Collection with three new limited edition pops of color for the summer. This lip gloss is shiny and smooth without overdoing it and provides just the right amount of color to add to add some pep to your step and your lips. All lip glosses are vegan, cruelty free, and proudly made in the USA. Pink About Me, Coalition, and Number One Crayon. So let's get to swatching. Pink About Me is described as a subtle pop of pink for your perfect pout. Here is what she look like. Glossy, that's one swipe. So as you can see, definitely buildable, definitely sheer. And next up we have Coalition, which is described as a warm coral peach that is reminiscent of a summer sunset. And here is Miss Coalition. Very peach, very pretty. Lastly, for the summer lip gloss collection, we have number one crayon, which is described as a cranberry color that will have you standing out all summer long, honey. And here is Miss number one crayon. Very pigmented. This is really pretty. This would actually go really pretty. Look at that, look, look at that, look at that gloss. Look at how shiny that gloss is. I love lip gloss, like honestly, I love lip gloss by itself, but I can almost never wear lipstick without lip gloss. Like sometimes I will, um, just because, especially since I have to wear a mask all the time, but I love just being able to wear lip gloss by itself and it still gives color, like yes. All right, so there goes the Summer Lip Gloss Collection and last for this watch party, we have Gloss for Grown Ups. So let's read what they say about Gloss for Grown Ups. Is this, okay, yeah. For Gloss for Grown Ups on the website. The Gloss for Grown Ups Collection includes four rich shades for fall. This lip gloss is shiny and smooth without overdoing it and provides just the right amount of color to add some pep to your step and your lips. All glosses are vegan, cruelty free, and proudly made in the USA. The glosses are buildable. Our model is featured wearing three coats, 
For women preferring a more sheer look, we recommend one to two coats. Okay, so there we have it. This is the Glassboro Girl Up collection. I am currently wearing said nudes, so I will start with that. And I'm wearing it uh, just a little bit on top of Menton number five, so just one layer because I still want the Menton number five. Um, I still want the color of Menton number five to pop out more than said nudes. Sin Nudes is described as a truly nude gloss for brown beauties of all hues. This sexy deep tan will be a staple in your makeup bag. And yes, she most certainly is. And this is what she look like. This is what she swatch like. There goes Miss Sin Nudes. Super pretty gloss. One swipe, you get the color you need. If you want more, you can add more because these are buildable. I'm telling you, when they say buildable, they mean buildable. So this is Baby Brown, which is described as the gorgeous brown hue that you have been waiting for. Here's what she look like. So rich, so pretty. And as you can see, this is so much deeper and richer. Like, it's not like it's richer in shade, but it's so much deeper and darker than Sin Nude. So it's like, there's a different vibe with each of these. And I just love, like, I just love. And this is the first, this was my first love. Buried Me is described as a very inspired shade for every gloss loving girl. Here's how she swatches. So, as you can see, definitely some range. Definitely some distinction. She is almost as dark as Baby Brown, but she has that berry element to her. Um, and I love wearing this one by itself too. It's very pretty. I have not really played around that much with the Summer Lip Gloss Collection yet, but I have worn literally all of the um, Gloss for Grown Up Collection by themselves, and they all are just gorgeous. I don't wear Sin Nudes by itself as much. I usually wear Sin, I will usually wear Sin Nudes on top of a lipstick, but as far as Baby Brown and Buried Away, not Buried Away, Baby Brown and Bury Me are two shades that I love to wear by themselves reg regularly in a post mask mandated society. But of course, I'm in Texas. The pandemic's over in Texas. Lastly, and this is a color I usually love to wear with Minton number five, but like I said, I didn't see it immediately when I started doing my makeup and I'll probably take this with me tonight when I go to this surprise birthday party I'm going to. Um, this is Mauve Over, and Mauve Over is described as, it says, other mobs can move over because this one is deeply pigmented to give even the darkest lips a gorgeous soft pink shine. And here is Miss Mauve Over. As you can see, two different vibes, beautiful range, Gorgeous shades, ugh, super, like, and you saw me. These are all one swipes. One swipe glosses, one swipe swatches, and super, super pigmented. So let's go through the lineup again. We have Pink About Me, Coalition, Number One Crayon, Sin Nudes, Baby Brown, Bury Me, and mauve over Whew. as stated previously i am doing a giveaway on my instagram and you can get additional entries right here on youtube so here is how first and foremost you have to have followed all of the previous instructions on my instagram including following me on instagram 
following Menti Cosmetics on Instagram and commenting down below mentioning a phenomenal woman and tell her why you think she is phenomenal. Now, in addition to that, you can get 10 more entries by doing the following. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, like this video, and screenshot me proof that you've done exactly that and send it to me via Instagram DMs. And how we can send your proof is like this. This right here. Just send me a screenshot of this little section right here showing this is my channel, this is the video, this is your like, and this is where it says subscribe. Just send me a screenshot of that and you can get 10 additional entries. In addition to that, you can get 30 additional entries if you go to my Instagram, mention Jackie Ina, and tell her why she's phenomenal because I love Miss Jackie, y'all love Miss Jackie, and I just think she's bomb. I feel like if we need to give anybody their flowers right now, it's Jackie Ina, okay? So if you want 30 entries, follow all of the previous instructions that I just mentioned, including mentioning Jackie Ina on my Instagram post where I um, announced the giveaway and then tell her why she's phenomenal. And that's how you can get 30 entries for this giveaway. So there you have it, folks. That is the end of this watch party. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you had fun. I hope you, you know what? You know what? That's not the end. That's not the end because I forgot. In case y'all didn't know, Menta Cosmetics dropped the highlighter palette and here she is. So we have Glow On, Glow Up, Glow Out, and Glow Girl. And I'm just gonna swatch those real, real quick like. There goes Glow On, and here is Glow Up. These are super shimmery. This is a brand new collection that they just launched. And here is Glow Out. And here is Glow Girl. And here's what they look like. So Glow On is described as a champagne color. Glow Up is gold. Glow Out is deep gold. And Glow Girl is bronze. Today I'm wearing Glow Girl. And I'm naturally not using any additional lighting right now. I'm filming this with natural light from my window. So yeah, it's like everything that you've seen just now was in its purest color. I didn't want to use additional lighting in this video for that reason. I want you to see the pigments for what they are and what they give just with sunlight. So if you have not checked out the Sunkiss Highlighter Palette from Minted Cosmetics. It is out now. And this is just beautiful. It is super beautiful. And you know what? Just, just, just because I'm feeling generous. If you, if you like and share my TikTok slash Instagram reel where I'm showing the highlighter collection, then you can get an additional 20 entries okay so if you do all of what i said that's 50 yeah that's 50 entries right there alone you have a very good chance of getting a nice little mental goodie bag so like i said with this giveaway i'm going to have two winners and each of you will be receiving a blush a semi matte lipstick with its matching sister lip pencil a lip gloss and an additional lip pencil and as you can probably tell, one of you will get peach, a peach vibe, and the other of you will get a pink vibe. Thank you so much if you made it this far for watching. Um, if you haven't joined the Glow Gang already, go ahead and subscribe. And I will be announcing the giveaway winners in my next video. You can follow me everywhere at Glowhen, G-L-0-H-E-N. It's the same all across the board, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, Glowhan, that's me. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video when I announce the winners. Bye.